Hey, good day, House Carpet Cleaning. We're back out here in uh, Gladstone, uh, previous job. Um, the owner, or supposedly there's a spot that we may have missed or got over wet or whatever. So let's go ahead and go on inside and take a look at what we got here. Um, this actually kind of surprised me the first time I walked in and okay tell me how in the world did I miss this supposedly I was the last one in here and it's on my watch so I get to take care of it but what's odd about it is that it's completely wet but along the outskirts there is completely bone dry so it looks like something spilled and I have absolutely no idea what it was so what we're gonna do because we're professionals we're just gonna go ahead and extract this out um, because it's all wet I have no idea how much water or dampness is actually there we're going to take the steam cleaner with no water and just extract out as much of that dampness as possible and then we are going to uh, pre-treat it with our uh, pre-spray solution let it dwell in there for a few minutes and then we'll go ahead and extract it again and hopefully uh, this won't be a problem but while we're here I do know that there are a couple of coffee stain spots that we were not able to treat because you know once the carpeting is wet um, adding a a, uh, a coffee stain remover product is gonna probably not do anything because the carpets are already saturated and the potency of the carpet uh, the stain remover is completely demolished at that point so this is what you got to look forward to if you're thinking about going into the carpet cleaning business. As you can see, uh, just using our extraction tool there, some hot water. We pretty much rinsed this whole area out. We went over it several times to try to draw out as much moisture as possible. And we did come all the way down here just to kind of blend stuff in. Now we're going to take our pre-spray. Um, pH is probably about 9.5. Um, I believe it has some uh, brighteners and some oxygen, sort of like an OxyClean additive in there as well to help brighten things up. Plus it gives our, uh, uh, our cleaner a little bit more of a boost without affecting the pH. So stuff does actually appear to be brighter and cleaner when you put that additive in there. But anyways, we're going to put a, a healthy amount down here on the carpeting just to allow it to dwell good. And while it is dwelling, we'll run upstairs and, uh, and uh, apply some coffee remover onto some coffee that was spilt. Um, the carpets were clean, so any sugar or milk or anything else like that that may have been in the, the, the coffee when it was spilt was clean so it's residue free it's just that there's a nasty uh, coloring due to the coffee in the carpeting and we've got the remover to actually pull that coloring out so uh, let me uh, go ahead and pre-spray this real quick and I'll head upstairs and show you our coffee stain remover all right I apologize I don't actually have the uh, stain remover product here I already stuck it back out in the van but it is a granule product. It's coffee stain remover by ChemSpec. So uh, that information should be in the in the, the descriptions below if you want to check it out. But uh, basically, because it is a, a a granule powder, a little canister of it pretty much lasts for years and years, or at least until you use it up. So uh, basically you, you put in one scoop of it per uh, 32 ounces, so that's what we did. Um, we've mixed it up and we've let it sit there a while so that it all dissolves in the hot water. And we'll go ahead and fill our spray bottle up and go into the other room and treat our spots. So basically you just spray it on, take a little scrub brush here, scrub it in on the spot and magically over time 
the uh, product will draw that uh, coffee stain right on out of the carpets and you'd never guess that it was even there. Alright, so actually I don't know if that is coffee or not. Um, it did not come out with our initial cleaning and this room is completely 100% hammered. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and guess that it is coffee and go ahead and treat it. Um, if it's not coffee, there's a possibility that this is going to draw out the stain anyways. But, you know, basically the procedure here is to take the pre-spray, completely saturate the entire area, then take our brush and just brush it on in. Um, as the product dries, it begins to uh, lift that out. In fact, you can stifle the drying process, which allows the chemical to uh, sit in the carpeting even longer by just taking a, like a piece of cellophane and putting it over the top. So basically, that just allows the uh, the chemical to remain on that that stain for a longer period of time. Generally. It doesn't need this for uh, coffee, but that's a trick that you would use for like pouring red stuff out because you use a similar product, I guess, and um, sometimes the, the stains come out right away and other times they need a second uh, uh, treatment of the product and other times, you know, after 12 hours, they just come right up. But again, I'm putting a piece of cellophane or something over the top to... Uh, to slow down that, that drying or evaporation process just allows the product to work that much longer in the carpeting.